بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل سائنس فار ایوری ون ٹوڈے ویل ڈسکس اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک ریلیٹڈ ٹو مائٹوکانڈریل ڈی این اے اینڈ دا نیم آف دا ٹاپک از دا ریپلیکیشن آف مائٹوکانڈریل ڈی این اے مینی اسٹوڈنٹ فیس پرابلم ان دس ریپلیکیشن بیکاز دا مائٹوکانڈریل ڈی این اے از راؤنڈیڈ راؤنڈیڈ سرکولر ڈی این اے and uh, uh, most of the students understand the replication of linear DNA, but they face confusion in the uh, replication of circular DNA. So it is very much easy, um, but you have to just follow the steps and uh, you have to uh, make sure that you are not confused in, this, uh, in the uh, template stand and the complementary stand. So after that, when you know about it, so you can easily understand the replication of mitochondrial DNA. In this video, I will, uh, I will explain each and every step in detail that how mitochondrial DNA is replicated. So let's start with the video lecture. First of all, you should know the structure of mitochondrial DNA. Uh, as I have mentioned in the previous video, the structure of mitochondrial DNA but here I am also explaining it that uh, mitochondrial DNA consists of uh, 22 genes that encode uh, transfer RNA and 13 genes that code enzymes that are used in the uh, oxidative phosphorylation. And two genes are uh, 16S ribosomal RNA and 12S ribosomal RNA. So keep this thing in mind. And these are the enzymes that are coded by different regions. Here is a control region, or it is also known as D loop. Why it is called a D loop? So I will explain it in the later video. And uh, there are two chains of mitochondrial DNA, the outer chain and the inner chain. The outer chain are uh, also known as the heavy chain because this is uh, sorry, the inner chain also known as heavy chain because it is rich in guanine. And the outer chain is known as live chain because there are no uh, high um, there is no high amount of guanine a uh, nucleotide base. So that's why these are uh, divided uh, these are simplified into two chains, heavy chain and um, live chain. Now here come the OH and OL. So these are known as the origin of replication. So this is the origin of replication of the heavy chain and origin of replication of the live chain. Okay. And uh, one thing, uh, keep this thing in mind, that the replication of a heavy chain will, uh, will start first. And after when it is completed or it is near to completion, then the replication of the light chain will start. Okay. So keep these keywords in your mind that first the replication will start from the heavy chain. Then when it is uh, uh, going to an end, so then the replication of the light chain will pass. You will come to know in a second. Okay. And uh, so let's start the replication of mitochondrial DNA. Okay, uh, wait a minute. Okay, so this, this is the, we will start it. Here is an enzyme known as twinkle helicase. Uh, it is just known as DNA helicase, but twinkle, just to make it simplify, I, uh, I am denoting it as a star, okay? So twinkle helicase, uh, there are two twinkle helicase that binds to the origin of replication of the heavy chain and the origin of replication of the light chain. And what is its uh, function? What does uh, Finkel uh, DNA helicase do? It separates, it separate the both, both the strand. Just look here, I will show you. It separate both the chains of the origin of replication. Just look here, just like this. Uh, as you know that here was a Finkel helicase so, and this was the origin of replication of the heavy chain, and uh, it was uh, the origin of replication of the light chain. So, what does this twinkle helicase do? It separates the two strand. Okay, this is this was the light strand, and this was the heavy chain, uh, heavy strand. So here also it separates it, and here also it it separates. Why it separates it? Because uh, it uh, when it is separated, so there is a, a specific space for the a DNA polymerase to start its polymerase action, okay? So keep this uh, thing in mind. The first step was the action of the DNA helicase. After that, when it is the DNA helicase conduct its activity, so what does it do? In order to, uh, to not allow the both the strand to come close together again, 
So there are special type of uh, single stranded binding protein. Okay, sorry, uh, sorry for the interruption. Wait a minute. Okay, so did uh, this single stranded binding proteins not allow uh, allow the both the strand to come close together? So this is the second step. The uh, when the single stranded binding proteins come here and attach to both of the strands. Okay. So, and it is also known as mitochondrial single stranded binding protein. So, this was the second step. After that, what happens? Now, it is the action of the RNA polymerase to add a primer to, uh, to the, to add the primer just to start the, uh, the action of the DNA polymerase. As you know that when DNA uh, is replicating, so there must be a primer so that should be attached to the, uh, 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 to the, uh, complementary strand, template strand, uh, uh, again the template strand so that the DNA polymerase can start its activity. So this is the third step. What uh, happens? The DNA, the RNA polymerase, single unit RNA polymerase came and add a primer. This uh, dark, uh, this grayish color is the uh, primer, okay? This is the primer. And keep this thing in mind, this red, uh, this red is the heavy chain and it acts as a template Okay, it acts as a, as a template because uh, the uh, heavy chain acts uh, act as a template, and a new complementary strand is uh, uh, it start uh, starts to form. But first of all, a primer should attach, and after that, when the primer is attached, so what happened then? Uh, now here come the polymerase gamma. Okay, here come the polymerase gamma. This is the fifth step. Uh, if I uh, again repeat it. So the first step was the addition of the twinkle helicase, the DNA helicase. It separates both the strand, then the mitochondrial single stranded binding proteins come to uh, come and bind to both of the strand, just to not allow the strand to uh, come close together. Then the third step was the addition of the primer. And this is the fourth step. Sorry uh, if I uh, write it. It is the fourth step when uh, the D, uh, polymerase gamma the polymerase gamma start its polymerase action. It is basically known as DNA polymerase because uh, it is adding us, uh, it is replicating the strand. So this red uh, is the, this red was the heavy chain. And now this, uh, a, new, uh, a new strand is uh, starting synthesizing against it, okay? So keep these uh, steps in your mind. Now here come uh, the action of the polymerase gamma. This blue color, this blue color is the uh, strand that is um, uh, making, uh, that is forming against the template strand. And this is the, red is the heavy chain. So what happens when it is passing by, so the twinkle helicase is also simultaneously performing its activity. And it is also uh, you know, on its, to, just to make the pathway clear. So it is performing its helicase activity. It is separating the strand from each other so that the polymerase gamma can perform in its activity uh, in a proper manner. And when it is uh, the DNA helicase is passing by, so this meta, uh, the, the mitochondrial single stranded binding protein are also attaching to these sites, just not, not to allow both the strand to come together. If I, I show you the slide, so this is the step, okay? Now, here come the blue is the new formation of the new strand against the heavy chain, okay? So now here is the D loop. As I have mentioned in the uh, earlier video, that there is a D loop. So now here, this, this is a D loop, okay? After that, it starts its activity. The twinkle helicase, if I write it here, the twinkle helicase is also performing its activity. And the single standing binding protein are also uh, may, uh, are also coming and attaching to this strand, just not to allow, allow both the strand to come, clo come closer again, okay? So now it is forming and up till now, up till here, it come here, okay? This strand is synthesized, okay? So if we proceed further, so just look here, okay? Uh, now this is, so, it comes here and as I have told you that when it reach the origin of replication of the light chain, so then after that, the, light, the replication of the light chain started, okay? 
So if I want to tell you this red color is the heavy chain and it was acting as a template and this blue color is the uh, this blue color is the new strand. Okay, this blue color is the new strand that is synthesized against uh, against the heavy chain. Okay, so this blue chain then complete uh, then when it enters here. So then the origin the replication of the light strand started. Okay, this black color is the light strand. Keep this thing in mind as I have told you. Okay, now we will proceed further. Now here come uh, the uh, uh, just like the uh, just like the replication of the heavy chain, the first the uh, RNA RNA polymerase attaches a primer, and after that the polymerase gamma starts its activity and synthesizes uh, a new strand against the light chain. Okay, this is the light strand. Okay, and this uh, the, just look here. This was the heavy chain, so a new strand then. Okay, after that, what happens? The replication of the uh, light chain also started. Okay, and just look here, this is a special type of enzyme. It is also known as RNA ACH. It is acting as a termination uh, uh, in, uh, terminator enzyme. It, uh, it, uh, it adds a sequence that is known as termination associated sequence uh, uh, just here. Okay, and at the last, the replication of the uh, the chain is uh, terminated. Okay, so this is a special type of enzyme. So the uh, the the replication of the heavy strand is completed, and a new strand is synthesized against it. After that, as I have told you that uh, now the replication of the light strand is also going on. So this this yellow color is the uh, temp. Uh, this yellow color is the strand that is synthesizing against the light chain. So this black color is acting as a template, and now it is uh, this new strand is uh, forming against it with the help of polymerase gamma. Okay. So now if we proceed further, so just look here. Now here after that, the yellow is also the yellow strand that is synthesized again, uh, synthesizing against the light chain is also completed, and the blue chain that is synthesized is also completed. So just look here and now then after that these are interconnected okay these are interconnected just look here if you have different rings and these rings pass against each other so then it should be separated okay so top uh, topo isomerase 3 alpha is an enzyme that then separates these both the chains okay so if i want to just look here now this is a very important step just look here and when uh, we were having the dna of the uh, mitochondrial DNA before the replication. So this was acting as a heavy chain. This red was acting as a heavy chain and this black color was acting as a light chain, if you remember. So a new strand synthesized against the, uh, against the, uh, the old strand. So this was the new strand. This blue color was the new strand that was synthesized against the heavy chain. So for this heavy chain, now it is acting as a light chain, okay? And just look here, this was the, uh, just look here, this, this uh, black color, this was acting as a, a light chain, okay? And a new strand is synthesized against it, so it is acting as a heavy chain, okay? It will be more clear to you in the next slide, okay? Just look here, this is the step. Uh, this is the final product. This was the heavy chain, and now it is acting as a light chain. And this was a heavy chain and it is acting as a light chain okay so this was the all the replication or replication of the mitochondrial dna okay uh, uh, if you follow the steps so it is very much easier just remember the that first the origin of uh, the replication will start of the, the heavy chain and after that when it is near to completion then the replication of the uh, light chain will start okay and just keep one thing in your mind that uh, if I want to show you here that, uh, wait a minute, okay, just here. So keep this thing in mind that the replication of the light chain will just uh, take place in between these both strands. And the replication of the light strand 
sorry the replication of the heavy chain will start in between these two strand okay so it will go like this and the replication of the light strand will uh, start its action on the outside of the ring okay so just uh, keep this uh, word in your mind so then you will not be confused in the replication of the mitochondrial dna so it was all about it if you have any further question you can ask me in the comment box okay so i will answer you there and if you have understand this video so like this video and share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos related to science thank you very much god bless you